Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. And this is my first tutorial with Photoshop CS6. Yes, CS6 is out, well, only in beta version, but everyone can try it for free. So, how cool is that? There are so many cool features inside Photoshop CS6 that I didn't know where to start. And plus, I only installed, installed it last night, so uh, I'm going to come up with a couple of things so I can show you couple of tricks and a couple of things you can do with CS6. So the first thing I'm going to do is right here on toolbar we have the spot dealing brush tool. So I'm going to click and hold and I've got content aware move tool. Yes, a new feature inside Photoshop CS6. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw a selection like so of this. And the reason why I've got this photo is just because I want to to go to an extreme because it's it's all cool when when we see it on a sneak peek, they move it from one side uh, to another. But in here we have more texture, so let's see how it works. So I want to move this selection to right here. So I'm just going. I've selected. I'm just going to drag, and I'll just position like so, and let's see what Photoshop can come up with. Let's deselect. I must say, pretty cool right here. Bit of work in here, but did a great job. I'm going to undo that, but and I'm, I still have this selected. So I'm going to show you right here on the top on the toolbar. We've got move, and that's what I used, and that's what comes as default. But do you, we also can extend, and extend is very simple. I can extend to stay here. So now we have two versions of this, and let's try over here. And right here, it's not brilliant, but in here it did quite a good job. So let's undo, let's see another area and see how it looks. Not too bad, not too bad. Mm. Okay, let's leave it like this. Another cool thing is it's the crop tool. I'll tell you something, it improves so much and I'm going to show you. So I'm going to select that selection and I'm just going to select the crop tool. And this is as default. Well, looks like the same but it's not. Uh, before you used to go and select the area you wanted to crop, which you still can do it. But now as soon as you click the crop tool you'll get all around and with the handles as you can see right here and then we can just resize it and constraint as you can see but I'm just going I'm not going to accept it we can also go for original ratio so we can just go like so and then we can move it but this is very very cool I'm, what I'm about to show you so I'm just going like this and uh, let's say I'm happy with this I'll click OK and then I'll add another layer I'm just going to add some layers and well we've done something in here we've cropped too much what can we do well we just we have this uh, crop tool selected we can actually go back because all the information of the original photo is still here as you can see because when I delete when I use crop tool I didn't have this ticked this is delete crop pixels so if this is ticked which is not in default once you crop it it's gone. Bye bye. Also, what we can do is we have this preview with the rules of thirds, but now they brought something from Lightroom, which is like the grid, diagonal, so you can see diagonals. This is quite cool. It's not really there as you can see. Uh, we've got triangle to see, and as you can see, it's not right, but obviously I, I would make sure it to be right. Golden ratio spiral as you can see 
only with crop tool it's very very cool stuff they've done and one of my favorites is this one so I'm just going to delete all these layers and we all know command J or control J on the map uh, Command J on the Mac, Control J on the PC duplicates the layers. So I've got a few layers, pretty cool. Select all these layers and uh, shift, and then we click on new group icon right here on the bottom or Control G, it puts in a group. But let's say we want to duplicate the group. Believe me, it happened to me so many times we had to go and duplicate group like so however now control J or command J on the Mac and we can duplicate the group how cool is this well I hope you like these couple of things I'll, I'll be showing a lot more cool stuff with new CS6 until then bye bye okay then see you later thanks for watching and see you next time bye for now